actually right before New Year's Eve. Oh my God, I thought there was a person outside my door. Whew. But it is the night before New Year's Eve. And um, I'm going to vlog it. I'm going up to my mom's house again. Um, she's the only person I'm seeing outside my house um, during the lockdown 2.0 COVID. Um, and lately I've been staying up pretty late because I've had Leslie home for about two weeks now. And um, I'll be homeschooling her and then it will probably extend longer. I mean, they say it's only gonna be for a week, but like they also said about March break. So I don't have high hopes there. I wanna jump onto this vlog first and talk about um, 2020 and just how crazy it's been. I was looking back at my YouTube channel a lot lately and just the craziness. And I was looking back at Instagram and how there was like, it all started with like forest fires and like that was only in Australia and that was in January and me and my sisters all donated and then little did we know it was gonna be like so much more every single month and then we had a stock market crash so, so many celebrities died this year I feel like um obviously the pandemic hit the world hard and now we have COVID 2.0 that's in the UK that's slowly obviously gonna travel um there was a huge stock market crash. I remember gas prices were like 83 cents per liter, which was crazy cheap compared to now when it's like 107 per liter. So we love that. Um, so many businesses closed. Um, so many small businesses. I will drive down the street that's normally jam packed and it's like no signs, things are closed, things are boarded up. Like it's so crazy to me. We have Black Lives Matter, which I mean, that should be like every single day that we should care about that. But I think there was a massive um, change in this world and all, with all the protests and the riots, I think we made a huge impact in 2020. So I'm really actually glad that happened. Um, gives me more hope for Leslie's future with her being mixed race. Um, there's a lot of personal things that happened this year that I'm not going to talk about because they are super personal um i feel like i've hit um zero goals i've just been trying to figure out raising a child in a global pandemic um always the odd years are my years of success and the even numbers are not my years of success and maybe that's so taboo of me to say but that's just how it is for me um what else happened into that oh the hornets the crazy killer hornets happened um you guys, I had a list and I can't even, I don't even know where that list went and it was so long. It was literally like a whole page long of everything that happened. There was like fires in the, fires in LA, fires all over the world. Um, so many things happened in this world during 2020. And um, honestly, I made it. Like that's all I gotta say is I made it out of 2020. I'm going into 2021 with a handful of small goals I would really like to conquer um but I also leave myself wiggle room because let's be honest um I don't know what this what's gonna happen for this world um if I think about it too much I'll get really bad anxiety <laughs> and I'll start really stressing but I really just hope that 2021 is a really awesome year and I stick to my goals and um remember that boundaries are acceptable and um I have a lot of other personal goals that I really want to make sure I reach it 2020 was a very stressful year all around um but there was a lot of positives out of it as in I spent really amazing quality time and really had to take a moment to think about how grateful I am for what I do have and um it was a lot but I'm excited to go into 2021 so I'm gonna end that here and continue on to the vlog I have to go to the store tomorrow for the first time in like two and a half weeks and I am culture shocked by that thought um because I haven't left the house besides going up to my mom's and that's it so that's been super weird but um gonna get stuff for New Year's Eve to make it the best year um Normally, I'm sitting alone on this couch crying on New Year's, and 
um, a lot of things always happen on New Year's that just really weigh heavily on my chest. So anyways, I'm going to make it a good year because a good night and a good year, good way of starting with the new year because I'm in control of how I feel and I can put myself in a really great situation or a sad one. So anyways, I haven't turned on my car since Sunday and it is Thursday and I am so cold. <laughs> Waiting for this car to heat up will be the death of me, like always, because it's so cold and it takes forever to heat up. And I don't have an automatic start. I'm already like manifesting my next vehicle, my like, dream vehicle. And there's so many things that like I want, so I am manifesting that shit. Um, but goodness, I am freezing. Like I don't get why it has to be this cold. All right. Just got to the dollar store. I always forget to buy like the little tiny Pure Purell sanitizers because I don't like my foam one because it's not foaming. Um, but you know what? As long as I have hand sanitizer, it doesn't really matter. Right. I'm gonna show you guys quickly what I bought and then I'm gonna head home. I think I've been out for an hour, which is fine. I haven't been out in two weeks. I always like take my time here at the dollar store because there's always so many things you can find. And always for such a great price so anyways let me show you guys what i found they had like all their dollars i meant all their easter and valentine's day stuff out so i found these ones i had froggy books growing up and leslie loves saying froggy she got froggy's first kiss i'm gonna hide this one until valentine's day or like a few days before and i got this one mama loves um ready to read book and it's just super e easy but Leslie will eventually learn how to read it and there's like a little slippy thing I don't even know I just thought it was cute and then I got a charger for my phone for my car I got Leslie a mirror for her makeup um, I got her a glue stick my sister needed a light bulb oh yeah and I found these bows for like a buck which I thought was so awesome. So I got to this bow and this bun. Like so cute, four bows for like two bucks. That's like a steal. Um, and I got these like felt hearts for um, Valentine's Day crafts. Again, I'm gonna hide those from her. I got her batteries for her flashlight. And then I got, since it's New Year's, I got these little like things. I got her glow sticks. And then my sister wanted me to get her some Happy New Year hats things for her and her um, boyfriend and that. So, anyways, that's what I picked up. Um, we're all going out to my mom's because it's just easier. Um, we're already in my the circle with my mom. And it's my mom, like, whatever. You know, I think so. That's what we're going to do. What am I to my mom's? I already went to the liquor store. Everyone talks about tomorrow's in Canada, you guys. There's a line around the building over there. And a line out to the road over here. So I turned to move up. It's like kind of crazy to be honest. But we're moving. We're moving. Okay, so I just got home. I'm gonna go inside. I was gonna eat in the car and hide from us sleep, but then I was like, mm, it's fine. I'll just go inside. Because then my dad can go out. Anyhow, I just paid for the person behind me's coffee. Um, I do this, like, not often, but, like, I would say maybe once a month I'll pay for the person behind me. Just simple kindness and um, why not? Like, it makes someone stay. You never know, like, what's going on in their lives. Um, me and my sister were just talking about this last night that you just never know what someone's dealing with behind the scenes. Like we've all dealt with hard stuff in our lives. Everyone has. So it's sometimes just nice to make someone happy or just make someone just, who knows? It could be spending their last $2 on the coffee. Like it's just like simple things like that that just make it so much better. And the girl out the window didn't even like second guess it. She was just like, yeah, of course you can pay. So. I don't know, it was just really awesome, and I don't mind doing it every once in a while. Why not? Um, if I'm going through McDonald's and get, let's say, a Happy Meal, I'll pay for the family behind me. Um, 
just not just a coffee i haven't done the starbucks drive through though maybe i should do that next the things i do that i just don't talk about because it's not i'm not asking for like a pat on the back i'm not asking for someone to be like oh my god that's so sweet of you like yes it's nice of me but i don't need someone to tell me that i'm just doing it out of the goodness of my heart because there's been times where i've struggled or i spent my last two dollars on a coffee because i really wanted it and it made me feel happy. So who knows what the person's dealing with? Maybe they don't need help, but just showing that act of kindness could really make someone so happy. So that's what I did. And um, it just makes me happy to like pay it forward in a, some sense. But anyways, I'm gonna go inside to Crazy Leslie and show her all the stuff I got. So hopefully I can hide the Valentine's Day stuff. We'll see. Anyways, this is the reality of my living room right now. <laughs> this is the reality. It is what it is, right? We're gonna clean up now, so we can go to Granny's house. Why are you going to Granny? Cause it's New Year's. Anyways, I gotta clean up with Leslie. Put all this stuff away. Don't do that, cause you're gonna clean up in one minute. Um, Leslie's not really listening, so send help. I'm legit hiding in the bathroom. Leslie is being so annoying. <laughs> Do you guys hear that? That's been going on for about an hour and a half. My head hurts. I am so tired and I just, I need a minute of like silence. So I'm hiding in the bathroom in hopes that she just tones it down. But anyways, I'm packing my mom's right now. Guys, I feel like I had to pack for a century with child. You know? Look at me. <laughs> Say Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> <laughs> Go Happy tell New Year. Go tell Auntie. <laughs> Anyways, though, guys, um, I've had a few drinks, I think, by now, and Leslie's going to bed soon. We're going to have a mini New Year's for her, and then, um, had ourselves to bed, but I think I might stay up a little longer. I don't know if I'm going to make it to New Year's. There's going to be some fireworks, so that's good. Um, I thought I would just come up to the quiet zone and see these little cutie pies. They're so cute. I can't believe my mom has two cats, brother and sister, like, to die. But anyways, um, I'm going to continue vlogging. We are listening to music, which is why I can't film that much, because copyright. But, um, yeah, it's just fun. We're all hanging out and just chit-chatting and nothing too exciting. But I did post on Instagram, so that's really good. Um, just, like, a candid kind of photo of Leslie and I just, like, spontaneously did it. Um... I didn't put on makeup, didn't get dressed or anything like I thought I was going to do, but I'm kind of here for that, to be honest. Two, one, one. So we're out. It's like 11 o'clock. I don't know where I'm going with it. It's a flashlight, y'all. Build it. Sending off fireworks at 12. I'm drunk as hell, y'all. But it's fun. Let's, let's leave with Auntie. So it's all worth it. Jesus.
Okay, I think this is crooked, but I don't have time to fix it. Um, I'm driving home right now for my mom's. So Leslie is sleeping. But, um, I'm really tired today. I'm not hungover at all, uh, which I honestly thought it would be because I drank quite a bit last night. Um, but I did stick to, like, the same drinking category. Like, I feel like there's a difference. Like, there's, like, there's wine, there's beer, and then there's, like, vodka, and then there's rum, and then there's tequila. Like, you have to, like, that's the one thing about drinking is that the trick is don't drink anything that's super full of sugar. That's going to give you, um, a hangover, make you feel sick if there's a lot of sugar. Um, it was a good night, though. I hung out with my mom and her boyfriend, and it was just, like, real-life conversations. When you get to the point when you have a relationship with your parents, or just, like, close adults, and it's not, like, surface-level stuff. Like, you actually get deep, and you learn life lessons, and you talk about stuff that's actually meaningful. It's a, such an enjoyable conversation. We lit off the fireworks. One thing about them living in the country is that they're able to light off fireworks, which is so fun. So we were able to light off fireworks and have our own little celebration. Um, and then Toby broke, Toby was barking at the fireworks. And then that woke Leslie up. So I had to quickly put her back to bed, which wasn't that bad. I went to bed probably around like one. And um, it was just a fun night. Like, I'm gonna continue my drive home and um, edit this so I can get up for you guys. But happy New Year's y'all. And I hope this year is so exciting for all of us. And we move forward with our lives in a positive manner. But anyways, I love you guys. Thank you for watching this video. And I will see you guys 